happening today, Attorney General Jeff Sessions and other federal officials will host the first National Opioid Summit. It comes a day after President Trump signed a new opioids law. It includes promoting research for new drugs that are less addictive and several other measures. And this weekend, the Drug Enforcement Agency is encouraging everyone to safely dispose of their unwanted prescription drugs. The idea of National Drug Take Back Day is so those pills don't get into the wrong hands. Take Back Days are certainly important as the nation continues to find ways to fight the opioid crisis. And joining us today, CVS pharmacist mm -hmm. Amy Lynn Sack. Daphne, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank and you so much for having me. This is an ongoing thing, the drug take back, and this National Day is just to help push more attention to it, right? Yes, it's actually an initiative that's sponsored by the DEA, and it happens twice a year, and it's really to kind of bring to light the issues of drug abuse and potential overdoses, and especially poisonings when it comes to children. That can happen if drugs are left and put in the wrong hands. So people who have like a medicine cabinet full of, you know, say amoxicillin they didn't finish, mm -hmm. what do you do with that. So there's a lot of different options mm -hmm. and um, there are a lot of CVS locations have a drug disposal unit mm -hmm. which you can take any type of you know expired drug or you know old medicine maybe from a surgery or when you were sick and dispose of it safely and securely that way it doesn't fall into the wrong hands um, because children it's so easy you may not yeah. think that they can't get into it but all it takes is a second of you not watching and they swallow too much and then you could have a really dangerous situation on your hands. Right so for people who say they're saving things for when they get sick again that's a bad idea. Yes definitely. Okay. Bad idea. <laughs> you, you all know yeah. those people who are like, oh, I'm going to save these antibiotics I get those and I'll calls start. all the time. <laughs> yeah, so don't do that. No, just get rid of it. Okay. So, so what are the, the medications where you say these are really the ones where we really need to be focused on if you have them in your in your counter? Yes. Well, all medications could be dangerous, but especially controlled substances, um, especially with regards to narcotics, things for pain, because if those you know, were taken by either a child or someone who has a tendency for addiction, they could either an unintentionally overdose or you know, end up in the hospital. And we're seeing this a lot with uh, teenagers, even mm -hmm. you know, people in your own home or even maybe people who've come into the home to work on something, they might go into your medicine cabinets. It gets into the wrong hands in lots of different ways. Right, especially with teens. That's why we actually do a program where we go, uh, CVS pharmacists volunteer, and we go and talk in high schools, middle school and high schools, grades mm -hmm. 7 through 12, and kind of talk about the dangers of uh, opioid drug abuse and prescription drug abuse, that way to kind of bring to light um, and educate students you know, from an early age not to go down that route. Why is it not always a good idea to try to dispose of it yourself? You know, throw it away yourself mm -hmm. or flush it down the toilet. You know, a lot of people think that that's the way to go. Right, right. So if we're throwing things away, it could always, you know, drugs can always be taken out of the trash. And if we're flushing stuff down the toilet, you know, you're kind of getting into the water supply mm -hmm. and things like that. So that's not ideal. Ideally, the safest way is to get rid of it in a drug disposal kiosk. And there's also any fire department or police department, they always have a, a take back bin or, you know, something along those lines to safely dispose of the medications. That you can go to anytime? Yeah, anytime. There's always, I know that CVS has donated over 900 bins to local law enforcement across the country. So there's, you know, definitely bins, and especially on Saturday for drug take back day, if you go online, you can see all the different places where you can bring back drugs, and almost every local police department is on there. Do you know when you take these drugs back, is there kind of a relief that you sometimes see from patients that are just glad that they're just out of their out of the house? Yes, yes. A lot of people they come in with like a huge garbage bag and sometimes it's, you know, reasons to avoid abuse and other times it's a family member may have passed away mm -hmm. and now they have all these medications, they don't know what to do with them. So it's really nice to be able to, you know, take that pressure off of them. They don't have to worry about it getting into the wrong hands or something bad happening. What are some of the safest tips for, let's say, storage of prescription medication? So mm -hmm. it's not expired just yet. You're, you know, you might, you're one of those maybe get sick a lot. Uh, what are the best ways to kind of store medication? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people think keeping their medicine in the medicine cabinet is a good idea. Uh, but usually medicine cabinets are in the bathroom. It's really steamy, you know, really moisture there. So that mm -hmm. can actually damage the medications. So it's really best to be kept in like a high shelf in the kitchen, away from where children can kind of, you mm -hmm. know, reach it and make sure that the safety caps are always in the lock position because you don't want to you know leave things open or have an easy open cap especially if there's children in the house so really just high and up and out of the way is the best place mm -hmm. sometimes pets like a dog who lives in my house <laughs> gets into yeah. lower cabinets mm -hmm. so you know you think about pets too I mean, pets right, can't right. go around eating human medication right exactly I actually get phone calls about that sometimes mm -hmm. as well because we have the poison you know hotline for children but we have to think about our animals yeah. as well 
because people have come into me with a bottle that's chewed open and they're like, yes. I don't know what, what to do. So it's, you know, you got to think about that as well because yeah. pets are children also. Yeah, my dog <laughs> took all my mom's Fazomax once when she was oh, visiting out of her suitcase. Oh my goodness. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's still and kicking. Yeah, so we've got some locations there on the screen. So again, you said you can go online and figure out where the best option for you is. And where do you go online? Should we go to CVS or go to the Drug Take Back website? Yeah, if you go to CVS.com, that's where you can see where our specific uh, drug disposal units are. We have about nine in Central Florida. Um, but if you go to the DEA Drug Take Back website, that's where they list everything, you know, in the whole country based on your zip code where you can go as well. Okay, so again, mm -hmm. on Saturday, get out, yes. get rid of that mm -hmm. stuff. Or mm -hmm. anytime at yeah. one of your Rest, pharmacies anytime. or police departments or mm -hmm. fire departments. Thank you so get much, Amy Lynn. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of there.